Hey there, Discover Family Church. Pastor Johnny here. I hope you guys are having a great week. I uh, hope you've been enjoying everything that's going on, all the different devotions and things that we're putting out for you. Uh, if you have any topics you'd like to hear us talk or discuss uh, about, we'd love to hear it. And uh, make sure to put on your calendars for this coming Sunday. We're doing something a little bit different, a little special, trying to change it up. We're going to have a full band for music this week. It's going to be really awesome. And you're going to want to be a part of it Sunday morning, streaming on our Facebook, our YouTube, our website, all at 10 a.m. So make sure to not just be there, be ready, and be ready to experience God in your life, but uh, be there uh, with friends. Invite them. This is an easy time to invite somebody to church because all they have to do is open their computer or their iPhone. So uh, make sure to start sharing that, uh, that feed and telling people to come and join you this week. And I, I'm so excited for all the new people we have, so many new people watching us every week. And so thanks for coming along for the journey. I, I'm going to continue today as we dive through the book of Matthew. And I'm going to read just, it's, it's based on uh, three different verses uh, from Matthew chapter 4. Uh, verse 23 through 25 says this and and he went it's talking about Jesus and he went throughout all Galilee this is the very beginning of him starting to to minister right I mean, he's just starting and he went throughout all Galilee teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction among the people so his fame spread throughout all Syria and they brought him all the sick those afflicted with various diseases and pains those oppressed by demons and epileptics and paralytics, and he healed them. And great crowds followed him from Galilee and the Decapolis, and from Jerusalem and Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. This is a really cool verse because, once again, we're seeing the start of why Jesus came here. Uh, everywhere he goes, we see that he's bringing not him. He's not bringing just himself there, but he's bringing the kingdom of God with him. Everywhere he goes with him, the nature of God is evident. And the nature of God up until this point had been, do what I say or I'll smite thee. You know, it had been, I will send a flood, I will turn you into a pillar of salt, I will take you down. And, and, and that had not been the nature of God, but that's what they had seen as the nature of God. And God was tired of them, of us seeing him in that way and so he said I'm sending my son so you can see who I really am and what we see here is that the, the true nature of God is beginning to be shared for the first time for the first time on our planet we start seeing that, 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 that it's it, the goodness of God starts flowing out as a result of Jesus ministry right here that, that it, it, in the presence of God right here we start seeing uh, disease affliction pain they, they start fading away when you get in the presence of Jesus I mean how true is that in our lives like if, if you ever had like a a really really bad day like things a bad week a bad month life's been going horrible and you go to church and you don't let the bad day stop you from experiencing Jesus have you ever had that experience that, that, that moment whenever you're sitting in a worship service and, and tears are streaming down your face and you're raising your hands and you're singing to him or you listen to a message and a verse hits you right square between the eyes and, and just pierces your heart and all of a sudden the pain and the afflictions and the strife and the fear they start fading away so many of us are walking in that fear right now and can I tell you the antidote to it is not a vaccine it's not a paycheck. The antidote to it is being in the presence of Jesus. That's what fixes it. That's what, that's what we're seeing right here. That's what sees it. And, 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 and moreover, the cool thing we start seeing here is that Jesus is, he starts doing this stuff for people of many lands. Up until this point, every group of people, the Syrians and, 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 and the Midianites and the Romans and, and the Israelites, they each had their own gods they worshipped and no, no, never did they intertwine, or if they did, it was evil and wrong, uh, especially when it came to Jehovah, when it came to, to the God of Israel. And for the first time, we are seeing Jesus go, you know what, I'm not here just to love the Israelites, I'm here to love everybody. 
It says he goes into Syria and they start bringing people out. And what we start seeing is that he start doing, he's doing this to not just his own people, but he's, he's bringing the presence of God, the kingdom of God, to anybody and everybody who will listen. And when he does this, he, he really is fulfilling prophecies of the Old Testament where it says that Jesus is going to come and he's going to bring healing to all lands. Church, we as a church are called to be a place just like this. We are called to be a people that reach beyond ourselves. That it's not about who comes on a Sunday morning, but it's about who we can talk to and who we can get to come next Sunday morning. It's about who we can share with and who we live next door to. It's about people that we like and it's about people we don't like. And it's also about bringing the kingdom of God and healing into the lives of people that are hurting and struggling simply by inviting them into the presence of Jesus. When he comes in their life, Fear fades away. Pain fades away. Affliction is gone. And sin has to run and hide. Church, this week, make sure that you're living in the presence of Jesus. Let him take away the pain and the fear and the worry and the strife. And make sure that you're reaching out, not just to the people that you're in with, but reaching out to anybody and everybody the way Jesus did. I love you guys so much. Can't wait to see you this Sunday morning. Have a great rest of your day. And make sure to get your kids to watch the devotion tonight, 5 o'clock. It's going to be awesome. Pastor Kim, it's pretty good.